This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Welcome fish lovers to Sax Tanks Crazy Aquarium Guy. The new place, new tanks. I almost bought more tanks immediately because four tanks isn't quite enough because you can't keep everything you want. But then I decided on a new rule. I did it on my community page. I still post there once in a while, so if you wanna be updated, check it out. Uh, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, probably not. Probably it's gonna take some time, but I just had to show you these things. So even if it takes a long time, I'm gonna do an unboxing because I got some awesome fish today. And yeah, some of them are not so awesome, but you, they, re, they are really needed. I don't know what's happened with my... My new phone is too heavy, so it goes like this. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. I'm gonna show you when I unbox some new fish. And in the near future, I'm gonna show you each tank I have, because I'm currently working on all of them, because I decided I'm ca I can't buy another tank before I'm super happy with all of them that I have. Maybe not super happy, but yeah, almost super happy because right now I'm not happy with any of them. So instead of putting money in a new tank, I'm putting money on plants, on driftwood, on special uh, hardscape and new fish. So I really feel that I, this is complete. I can just, now I can just watch it evolve or steal plants when it gets too much. And when I'm at that stage that, oh, I have too many fish or I have too much plants and I can't put the plants anywhere, need to fix this, uh, then I can buy a new tank because then it's reasonable. Then it's okay because I can manage these four aquariums and have them looking super good. So if I can't have them su looking super good, that means I have more time for them before I buy new ones. Does that make any sense? For me it does, because I need that, otherwise I'm gonna buy too much aquariums again and only have aquariums in the whole apartment. But let's look at the fish. Okay guys, if, the, if I do this too slow or if I talk too much, that's just my thing. I'd rather say too much than editing the video and realizing I should have said this. I know that's not popular now, everything needs to be short, but I'm never gonna go in the club with the super short videos. So this is just a hint. Feels so wrong buying these things because I think I sold 30 or 35 of these during COVID-19 because I needed everything when I was almost, my job was shut down completely for one and a half year. Now it's up and running again, but it feels so unnecessary because I sold 35 of my caves and I was like, oh, I only have two left, two small ones. Of course I saved like 10, but I already used them. So yeah, we can go through stuff like that when I show you what fish I have. You don't even know that, all the fish I have right now. And some people have asked me to show the new apartment. This is the kitchen, so it's much bigger than the, uh, this is my old TV, so I was like, 11 years old, it's gonna break down. I don't wanna put it up on the wall and then change it, so I put it up in the kitchen. Because if it breaks down, I p hang a nice pictures or painting or something instead, but not in the living room and then it breaks down within six months because it's 12 years old. It was the super good Samsung when, ah, you see what I'm rambling. But I don't wanna show you the apartment when it's not looking good. But the kitchen is, a lot bigger. The apartment uh, overall is a lot bigger and a lot nicer, but that one was my investment. I bought that one. This is just for rent. So my investment is gone, but I needed that. I took care of a lot of bills and stuff and old payments, so it felt nice. And especially now I'm like five minutes from work. You see that church tower? That's like the middle of the center of the city. It's the, on top of the square. 
so literally like five minutes to everything so I don't need to have a motorcycle or car so I save money on that but this was about fish sorry guys ah I'm gonna pr try I think they call it glossal stigma uh, they don't have the name on this one and they didn't know in the store as per huge that's one thing I really miss my old aquarium guy because I told you before if you're a long-time subscriber uh, he has the best or at least top three in the whole Sweden best fish store and I got so used to that and he had low prices as well because he sold so much so he didn't sit on the fish long I'm not kidding a lot of things is three times more expensive here than I'm used to buying it for <laughs> it's just divided by one hour and 50 minutes so of course I don't have a car on motorcycle but I'm gonna still buy things from him and some way borrow a car or a motorcycle from a friend and go pick up some expensive plecos and stuff from the old guy in my in the city I used to live in because it's so much more cheap and I can get whatever I want now I can just get what they have in the store but I'm currently building up a trust with the new guy and he has a lot of connections too but He's so expensive, but it's so nice too, so I don't want to call him super expensive because probably he's not even more expensive than I haven't seen the video so much now, a Korean co-op is, but divide a Korean co-op prices in three, that's what I get my fish for, of the other guy. Then you can imagine, even if it's rare plecos and stuff. Oh, enough ranting. Everybody needs to make money and COVID-19 raised the prices, but still I called him and asked about plecos that I saw in the other store, what do you charge for them, so I'm still right. Okay, this is the most boring one, so we take that first. <laughs> for Siamese alligators. But I just want them because I'm building an Anubias tree. Maybe I end the video by showing you the Faka tank actually. Because the Faka tank is the 78 gallon cube. And I'm building something awesome in there. Uh, also on the community page I started building a tree with Anubias and then I had more Anubias so I think oh, five of them, I divided five of them up and it looked too man-made so I added more and more then I bought a big piece of driftwood and another piece of driftwood and more Anubias is on the way so I'm currently working on that tank and in my mind that is ready in a couple of weeks so maybe I can show you now and explain what I'm gonna do and then this video is also not just unboxing it's the end of this video is a month from now when it's finished but it's not gonna be finished because it's gonna look amazing a year from now because it's Anubias they grow super slow Still. but these were okay these were like twice as expensive that's my other guy but that's okay like I said everybody needs to that's more worth it than to go to that store just to Siamese algaes. But I got a good deal. That's the point why I, why I can rant about these being expensive because I got a huge good deal on some things. Like these ones. These can be a little bit difficult for me. I don't know why, but at least for me, can be difficult to get these Hercules snails. And I think they look amazing. I actually don't know anything about them. This is not usually me. I usually read up on, on fish and then I look for them or order them or make sure I have a tank ready for them. Uh, these were just... He only had four and the price for them were eight dollars a piece and I was like... I, if I'm correct, these big snakes live for a pretty long time so I wanted to try them. Is it out of focus? I don't know, but they look amazing. Can't show them in the tank without showing the tank they're gonna go in, so I'm not gonna do that. I think. We'll see what the, where this video is going. Okay. Eventually, we did a lot more in this video than I'm saying in the introduction, so that's why it's so long. So, please stay tuned. Sorry guys, someone was at the door, I totally forgot. Um, so, the Siamese alligators, the Hercules snails. The Glossal Stigma. I have done this with success. Not on video, maybe. 
because it was a long time ago. Because this really does good in nano tanks for the obvious reasons. If you don't have CO2, they need the light pretty close to be successful with it, at least in my experience. And I usually keep big aquariums and I have ex extra light. Do you say that? No, <laughs> you can't say that, but you understand what I mean. I especially like deep aquariums, and that's extra bad for this one. But I, it's worth trying one more because I'm trying. I'm gonna try to super glue this to a rock in the tank where these snails go, and where I have some amazing saffron platys and for the female betta. That's on a short video if you want to see a little bit. But I'm rescaping the whole tank. But the fish, if you want to see the fish, it's in one of my shorts for a couple of weeks ago. So let's go move on to the star of the show. And like I said, he's super expensive in my opinion. So that's why I bought this one because this was not super expensive. Look at this amazing pleco. Look at the size. I mean, these guys get to a foot. So it's not big for being this pleco, but to buy them while caught, from a store and it was a lot it was like $89 so it was a lot it was the most I spent on a fish in a long time but still this would have been maybe 65 of the other guy but I think he charged more because this is this is twice as big than he usually gets the L007 or L29 they always put up the same name like they look the, the, exactly the same but they don't you see this one is an L29 because I hope I'm saying right now it's not L23 but I think it's L29 um, you see it's brown with yellow dots while the 007 L007 is almost pitch black at this size and white dots you would think that's a big difference, at least I think it is. But this is a really nice specimen of the L29. That's why they were, were unsure in the store if it was a Galaxy L007. Because it don't usually have these markings. This is not almost like a, a golden nugget pleco. It's super good yellow color. Maybe it's not the camera is showing it off right and now it's dressed in the bag. But man, beautiful fish. And the cave is for him because I'm gonna take a little bit of a risk here because these guys eat meat. These are carnivore plecos. I usually don't get carnivore plecos because they are so difficult to feed because everything that is meat, all the fish love. And these wild caught gal galaxy plecos both L007 and L29 and uh, Leopard L114 No, that... Yeah, I think that's right. Never mind. They only come up out at night, so you need to leave something that's gonna sit there for a while. Or a big piece with the small fish. But I'm gonna keep this with my Fahaka, and that's the risk, because one bite and $90 down the bin. But I don't think he's gonna attack this one because they are super smart and I'm gonna show you The end of the video is me showing you the final product not I t said a month from now Maybe two weeks from now when I I'm done with the scape But it's gonna look better when it's grown in but I'm gonna show you how it looks when I'm Happy with it. I'm just gonna wait So I'm not gonna show you when I put this fish in but I'm gonna hide that cave behind the driftwood so he can escape in there. And I also gonna put in the Siamese algae eaters. Because if I lose if I lose them, all four of them were twenty dollars. Right? Uh, and they're gonna move around a lot and catch the Fahaka's attention. This Fahaka haven't shown any aggression against the Ancestress Pleco. That's why I can gamble with this. And the Ancestress Pleco is way smaller than this one. And I take took away the Jaguar cichlids, by the way, <laughs> I don't update anymore, so I don't tell you, but the Jaguar cichlids started to uh, pair off with each other and they, uh, they dug a hole in the back and then they started attacking the Fahaka. And as soon as I saw 
uh, nipped fins on the Fahaka, I got rid of the Jaguar Cichlids because they, I got them for free from a friend just to grow them out a little bit, have fun with them. They were never a fish for me to keep. They get huge. And I'm not into that one empty tag, one big cichlid. Okay. So, let's move on and see how it looks two weeks from now. <laughs> but this is an amazing play call. Beautiful. It's perfect for the Vahaka tag because when I feed him clams or shrimp and he spits out the piece and when he's full or he leave the last clam alone I put in an extra clam uh, or put in a clam at night and the Vahaka won't eat it because he's super full. So then these guys can come out at night and eat it. He got a really round belly. I don't know if I can show you. But look for that. You see that belly? Look for that when you're buying a wild pleco. Not too much, obviously, because then you can have parasites and blow out and die. And it's he's already almost on the verge of dying already because it's really big the stomach. Then it, can, it could be some something that is wrong. But this just looks like it's well fed. And I also asked about the asked the guy how long he had it for, and the fins are perfect. Yeah, super nice fish. I love collecting plecos. So now I have L31, L... Yeah, but different color are sisters always because they are so good. And my favorite is the yellow one with blue eyes, not the albino. The true yellow with blue eyes. And I actually have more plecos on the way. Maybe they're also going to be in this video. I think so, because they're going to show up pretty much at the same time when I get my plants and those I ordered from the other guy so then I got three more rare plecos than this one for not twice as much only like ah doesn't matter but he was cheaper as usual so let's see what the next part is I don't want to promise anything but it's gonna be more fun Stay tuned. <laughs> Found an old photo. Lileopsis brasiliensis, something like that. And uh, Glossostigma, or it could be Monte Carlo. But these were the type of nano tanks I kept before I started YouTube because I kept a lot of them. Crystal black, crystal red. Not supposed to have them together, but I did. If you look really closely, I had a lot in there. But this was this tank was so devastating, but because it was close to a window, and I just went away for the weekend. And that weekend went up to 30 degrees or something, and my old apartment was super hot because it, the whole building was made of tail. So when I came back, they were all cooked. Everybody had died. And I measured the temperature of the water. It was like 32 or something. So, rookie mistake. But this is not the best picture of this. This is just, yeah, oh yes, I did it. But it looked even better two months later. I just found it by accident a couple of hours later after I did the video. <laughs> So as usual, I talk a lot, so I'm going to show you some things in between. And again, I'm not going to show you the apartment because it's I'm not happy with that either. Uh, but I'm working on all things. But I'm going to show you the aquariums here in the bedroom just so I also have them on video before I'm happy with them. And explain why I'm not happy with them. Some of you maybe have seen the big tank. And I'm currently working on that still. I haven't got the good balance yet. The, the water parameters are perfect but it doesn't look good. So let's get to that in between the unboxing video. So this is gonna be like swag swim tails almost because it's gonna be a long video. That's my thing. So immediately you could see that I put in some seachem fluoride behind all this because the old gravel that I took out I cleaned it. I'm not. I did actually didn't clean it a lot, but you see, it's not very deep, and 
I'm usually a guy that promotes deep substrate, this in the front and maybe this much in the back because it works so good for the plants. Oh wait, the ghost knife is out. He's usually not out during the day. No one, we don't want to see you barbs right now. But look at the quality of the tiger barbs. Emerald tiger barbs, green tiger barbs. Everybody's looking super healthy. I tried testing the water, so it's not unbalanced. The unbalance is the plants look so bad. I don't know why. So I know why, because it's not balanced. But I mean, I'm working on getting to the balance. And it's not crystal clear, it's pretty clear. But it's not crystal clear like I want it. It's supposed to be, when you look from the sides, it's, a, it's supposed to be like watching through a window. Maybe you can see it's a little bit hasty when you look like this. It's still pretty clear, but for me in reality, it, this should be more clear. The cryptocorin is very slow growing. Not even the sore plants, I trimmed off all the bad leaves. Not even the hygrophila is taking off. I don't know, and I buy, bought this Thai... Oh, I don't remember now. I never tried this plant before. Uh, the leaves look almost like uh, Valesneria uh, Gigantea. But this is from like Aponogiton. You don't plant this completely in the ground because they have like... In Swedish it's the same name for that as an onion. But <laughs> I don't know what it's called, if it's called a leek or onion, onion plants. But you get what I mean. It looks like a uh, white or yellow onion on the bottom. And this is supposed to be an easy plant. And you can see this looks better than any of the other plants. So when this takes off and cover the surface with their tall leaves, I think we got a lot more balance in this aquarium. But I'm still waiting for that. So, But now I got it on camera. It's not looking good at all. And I added the fluorite when the tank water was down to here. So that's why we can see all the dust on the rocks and stuff. But Pleco's gonna whip that off. But yeah, like I said, not happy with it. But the water quality and everything is very balanced because I went like 23 days without, I feed really heavy here. And I went 23 days without uh, water changes. And the nitrates were at like 10. So apparently the, it is taking care of itself, itself, but doesn't look good. So that's the only problem. So the balance is great, but the balance is great with the, the biology, but plants don't look good. I want both, of course. And this is the forever home for the Paca later, the 175 gallon. And I usually always show people this, but why can't you? Why don't you have to do water changes when you have 120 fish in here and feed heavy? Yeah, three canister filters, huge ones here. And of course, they're not necessary for this kind of fish. You can get away with one smaller uh, and just do water changes weekly with all these fish. But when the fajaca is big, they poop up hot dogs, and I already know that. So. This is the tank from the old apartment with the old filtration system supposed to handle the Fajaca's amount when she was fully grown. Miss Sunshine. So, um, I um, one of the rare plecos that I talked about is going to go in here. Not that I showed you in this video, but I'm going to show you in the same video, I think. Uh, but they're coming in two weeks when I get to my old guy. One of them is going to wear, at least one of them. This one I haven't shown you, and it doesn't look good by any means, but this I just kept this as a holding tank for Anubias. Because these Clarias Patracus, I think it was, they're usually brown and ugly. These ones, I couldn't, I could not not buy them, because blue eyes and polka color, they look amazing, but I bought them and they were the size of a pinky <sighs> and the crazy aquarium guy feeds a lot as usual if they eat a lot I feed them a lot and keep them pretty warm as well 
about 28 degrees. So yeah, I, I had 30 Anubias in here, but I escape it every three, four days and they just tear it apart. But this is my holding tank for Anubias because it is quality LED light, aqua stable, but it's 23 watt. And in my opinion, the color is amazing on it, but it's not super strong. In, in my terms, because I usually always keep highlighting. Like here is Fluval 3.0, the biggest one, and another one with the same wattage. So over, over 100 watt of LED on this one. So, but I'm waiting for like 25 Anubias and Java Ferns, uh, three, four of them, and Bulbites and stuff. And I'm going to put them in here again because these guys eat a lot and poop a lot. But if I have 30 plants in here and do weekly water changes, or sometimes I actually do every five days because these are so much bigger than they appear in the video. These are like, they're not quite a feet long yet, but they are easily 10 inches. Super fun to feed. Maybe we should feed them and show you. I didn't, I t didn't take the tripod with me, so gonna be a bit shaky. Uh, I have massive war delight but that fish that fish food stinks I think. That stinks that it's bad but it really fouls the water. So I actually prefer this one. Sinking. Always sinking. Almost always sinking to, to fish. They know when it's time. They know me by now. And I'm quite generous. So they're gonna vacuum up everything. Maybe we go a little bit further away. So they, this was the same thing. I can keep them for a while because this tank was not escaped, but it was set up. And my Eheim, for professional, supercharged with four kilos of. The Palm Guru's ceramic media actually, uh, if you want to know how to set up a good canister filters the right way, because these can come, come in when you buy them the wrong way. But they are really, really good, I think, uh, because the impellers, every, all those parts inside the motor of the Eheim canisters are so good. They never break down, they never, like a Fluval 406 and 306 that series I don't know if they fixed it in the 07 series but they can shut down of course they're not eating everything now when it's on camera that's per use I don't know they've never been on camera <laughs> they usually vacuum up a lot more than this of course they're not doing that when someone is looking so this tank is gonna be I'm kind of thinking of getting rid of them because I can keep them in the big tank with the Fahaka and get rid of these fish or I can keep the Fahaka and hope that he can get along with these fish and just get rid of these fish and make an awesome scape in here a little bit low tech with Danubius, Microsorum, Bulbitis, big driftwood pieces and keep a really nice blue fish that I love a big school of them I'm kind of leading towards that, but because that can be a forever home. This tank is 55 gallons, so it's extra tall as all my tanks. Um, I like the view, I don't know why. Uh, so I think I'm leading towards that. But these are really nice fish. But when they tear up the scape like they do, all of a sudden, I don't like them as much. Because they are so strong, so they just pick up the rocks on their noses and flick them over like they weigh nothing. And you see this big driftwood piece, it's a Mopani driftwood piece, super solid, pretty heavy. Yesterday I put it out like that and they changed it <laughs> a lot of times. So we'll see, but you know what I mean, why should you buy another tank when you have a tank looking like this? When this tank looks amazing, then we can buy another tank. And when this tank looks amazing, also, then we can buy another tank and so on and so on. So you understand. 
Mm -hmm. It's a pretty big apartment, like I said. Whoa. But let's get back to the other things we talked about. I'm doing a water change here before I put in the plant. So, it's not night, but it's later. I put the glossostigma stigma right there. Hopefully that's close enough to the light. This is grown, immersed, so we're gonna see. It needs to melt down and then come back, and we will see if it comes back. But this is what I did with the big driftwood piece, because I did an Anubias tree, and it looked a little bit, mm, not enough Anubias on it. So I put in more, and this doesn't look good at all, because I usually dust I usually do it with do this with a string or uh, super glue, and now I only have this one. <laughs> it's not harm harmful for the fish, but it doesn't look good right now. And that's Java moss. We have Miss Grumpy Pants, or should we call him Mister? We called that one Mister for two years, and then she laid the eggs. So we're gonna call this one she. As much as I can. Here you see gambling with $90. Here you can really appreciate the size of Levaca because you show I showed you my hands next to the Pleco when we unboxed it. She hasn't been in the cave. She's been searching for food, even being close to the Faca. The Faca doesn't bother her at all. But Siamese algae ears are great because you can see how much Anubias and you know how slow they grow and how small they are when you buy them. I've been growing them out a little bit, most of them, like this one and this one and this one. The best looking. Mm -hmm. They have been growing out in my other tank, but usually they are like this one. That's one for like seven dollars. So. We have one, one uh, barter right there, but you can see on the leaves on this one why we have the crew, the Siamese algae eaters, they are going to help us with this. This tank is not finished, none of my tanks are finished, but look, I'm gonna get some Anubias, was it Paxima, I think? looks like almost hanging like this like almost like grapes or something hanging down so I thought about hanging them over there and more Nana here and maybe some golden coins on these two this is two driftwood pieces this one is huge I got it a lot bigger than I thought I would because I ordered it online but it looks great and if Haka loves that he can go and hide in the dark also gonna put small driftwood pieces like this one here one two and three with this one and Anubias on those I know Anubias but Anubias 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 but this is gonna be Anubias heaven because it's only T5s and this is almost three foot three feet tall so I know that is not a really good light for most plants so but maybe I can get that perfect Anubias if you get the balance with Anubias and they continue looking like this it looks amazing when you have 20 Anubias Nana that's been growing out one year later it's gonna look awesome because everything is gonna be like Anubias heaven now we have things on the glass and stuff because I don't know if it was the agar cichlids because I moved them out they actually started biting the fahaka because they dig a hole in in the back and started breeding and pairing off and then they started to bite the fahaka so there you have it jaguar cichlids are more ferocious than a fahaka because uh, she defended herself I saw that a couple of times so I thought ah, they're they're toast if they're gonna mess with her, but there were four of them. So, and they are pretty gentle, actually. I think Fakas are pretty gentle. Uh, not if you put in uh, like a crayfish, because then instinct 
turns on. <laughs> but with fish, they are not like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm hating on you just because. So, I don't know. I got rid of them because I got them for free and they get like 60 centimeters, two feet long. And it was just grow out trying some things. Uh, this is my crown jewel. So if they hurt her, I'm going to get rid of them. So it doesn't look great right now. Now you see why I don't post a lot of videos because it doesn't look terrible, but it looks man-made and not ready. I'm also buying a fine sand because each faka is different, but this one really likes to dig. Dig herself in, I mean. So she always tries, but you see the big rocks here and I don't want it to get hurt. So I'm gonna take that out actually. And put in some light sand, uh, brighter colors as well, so she will look more yellow and red. Now with this black gravel, she looks washed out. And the light is wrong as well, but yeah, you know what I mean. So I'm gonna put a deep sand bed because she loves to go boom, like some of them though. Boom, takes half a second and you're like, what? You only see dust. And then two eyes are sticking out. And she likes that. My other one, couldn't care less. I had this deep when she was smaller than this one. She never did it. So I figured, oh, I still keep sand and I did, but I never kept it that deep. But she really likes that. In all of the time, she tried to bury herself down under the sand. So that is my next thing. So none of my aquariums are ready to show and I have shown you all of them. <laughs> no, I didn't show you the kitchen tank, only to my members. But you understand why I haven't made videos because maybe I should made a video when I did the tree, but it was spontaneous. That's why I used the horrible green thread. Um, yeah, I think this is gonna be the end because the video is getting too long. And of course, it's my fault because I talk too much, as usual. But thank you so much for watching, fish lovers. Keep doing your big water changes and buy as much plants as you can afford and try to breed the fish instead and you will have a healthy tank. And don't have too much power or flow but have a big bio load and if you can't afford afford that have a deep sand bed because it that's gonna act like a filter enough rambling till the next video guys